Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today and welcome back to Win Phil Zoo. Goodness, I have the urge to say Tolly Zoo for some reason. <laughs> we haven't been in Tolly Zoo in a while, but Win Phil Zoo is our second franchise mode zoo we've been working on for a few weeks now. And in the last episode, if you missed it, we added our snow leopards. Now, if you did catch last episode, you'll notice a little bit of difference here. I did do some work off camera because I wanted today to be a purely gameplay episode, meaning that I'm not going to go ahead and do a time lapse. Um, I have half the audience says that they really like time lapses, half the audience says that they don't. So I'm going to try really hard to kind of mix it up and keep it even. Uh, maybe every other episode is a time lapse or something like that. But, so I did do some work off camera, that way we could decorate the interiors of the habitat today uh, and get our second cat in. So last episode we did add our snow leopards and I was able to find us a male snow leopard, which we were not able to find last time. So I went ahead and threw him in here, hoping that we get some baby snow leopards because that would be fantastic. I did go ahead and add some enrichment so you can see they have the blood pumpkin, they have a little... Uh, a rope ball, whatever that is called, a box, and then they have the little scratchy thing over here. So they are very happy. Click on them, you can see everything is going great. I let it play for only like a couple seconds uh, to test out to see if they were gonna get stressed, and so far, so good, fingers crossed uh, that they are not going to get stressed. I saw the female when she was alone, she ran straight in here, which is like perfect. That's exactly what I want her to do when she gets stressed. That way she can go in there, she can hide, take a break, and, uh, and not be too upset about it. But... The one thing I want to do this episode is add our next cat. So you can see that I have kind of fleshed out and built in this enclosure so that it is able to contain an animal and that way we can kind of decorate it. And you guys actually surprisingly were pretty split between cougars and Siberian tigers. Those were the two choices. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... I'm gonna go with the cougars. Um, one, because we do already have one in our storage right here. We have this female here. So all we need is a male. And I just think I agree that they fit really well. Now, that's not to say that Siberian tigers won't come to the park because I definitely still do want to add them. Uh, but I just think cougars fit well. And uh, they both have the same um, space requirement. I did check that while deciding because I was going to go with the one that needs least. But at least for one, they only need like 700 square meters or something like that. Um, but before we get into that, let me go ahead and check what these little notifications are. We did get some more research, which is awesome uh, on our follow deer. Now let me actually just double check. We only have one veterinarian right now, but we are doing really well on money. So what I want to do is I want to get two more and that way we can get research going. You know what? Maybe three more. That way we can get research really going and we can research some of the other animals that we have because our research is kind of sort of behind. So we haven't done anything on the bison, anything on the snow leopard, and yeah, any, wow, anything on any of these guys. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and start with our big animals first. So we'll do maybe bison and maybe snow leopard to start off there. And so we'll get research going. Oh, I had one more. Sorry, I did do three for a reason. Uh, so maybe some pronghorn antelope. And so we'll get those going, get some research going. That way we can unlock some stuff for them. And then I think the other one, tickets are underpriced. Sweet, let's go ahead and raise these to 15 then and see if they like that. Uh, what is this going on? Animal is stressed. Who could have guessed? We are not going to worry ourselves with the uh, hoof stock, though, as of right now. Maybe I need to move their food behind here. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a problem for another day. I do not want to deal with these guys at all in this episode. So I probably am going to keep it pretty much paused for the majority of the time. Um, but I also think... Maybe, actually, before we jump over there, let me check and see what the doll sheep, if they're confident with people, because I don't remember off the top of my head. 
Uh, let's see. I don't remember off the top of my head if they are neutral. Okay, so they're probably less likely to get stressed, whereas the the reindeer are probably shy. Is that right? Let's double check down here. Where'd they go? Reindeer. Oh no, okay, so reindeer are neutral, so they're going to be about the same then. That sucks. Uh, moose, confident, so they're probably not going to be... So maybe what we do, maybe we put the moose here and the reindeer over here. Because you guys were telling me that you really want to see the moose as our, our very last kind of hoofstock circle habitat thing. Uh, so maybe we do the reindeer over here and they can get a little bit further away. We can also kind of do what we did over here and make it so they don't have like the whole thing is not their viewing area. And then make up a one or two moose in here. We have a little bit of room to extend it in the back, so we might have to do that to make more space. Um, but they're more, they're obviously confident with guests, so um, stress probably won't be as big of a factor. But that being said, let's move on over here. Let's actually move our cougar, that's the wrong button, move our cougar, our female cougar into the zoo. So let's go ahead and move you here and then look for a cougar, a male cougar. Let's see, a male cougar for us. Oh good, okay, well we have some options. <laughs> They're just all money, so that's fine. Um, not so great and not so great. I'm gonna go with the first not so great. Uh, 4.7 years old. Yeah, not so bad. So let's go ahead and get you Bippin, 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 Bippin. That's kind of a cute name, Bippin. <laughs> let's go ahead and throw you in there. We will play so that we get our cougars in here and make sure that they have enough space. That way when we, because when we start to add some rocks, right, it's going to cut down on the, um, the traversable area. So we want to make sure that they have enough space before we start decorating. There's one and there's two. Let me see. Goodness, go away. New animal in the zoo. Fantastic. We've got some people saying hi to us. We do have some challenges. So release to the wild education and reduced crime. Okay, cool. Now let's uh, play so you guys can get out uh, from inside one another. Great. Thank you. And do you have enough room? You do, but you need more grass. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. So what we'll do is we'll make grass. Ooh, that's an itty bitty little paintbrush. No, we want it to be not that big. We'll put some short grass over up on the top here and make this kind of come down throughout there. Maybe a little bit of long grass along the building, like where it would be hard to kind of mow, mow the lawn. There, 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 perfect. Oh, need a little bit more short grass. Put a little bit too much. There we go. Awesome, so that is good. Uh, they do need hard shelter, which we don't have for them. So we're probably gonna have to build something. And I'm thinking maybe back here will be their hard shelter, but we'll probably throw something temporary for now. Um, but that being said, let's go ahead and uh, filter for, they like temperate and taiga. They also like North America, South America. So that's perfect. Let's go ahead and see what kind of trees we have. This episode is basically going to be just decorating the, uh, the cougar and the snow leopard habitat. So I hope you guys do enjoy that. Um, I do also want to stream Winfill Zoo relatively soon again. Um, I've actually been enjoying streaming a little bit more. We streamed, the day I'm recording this today, we streamed at like 10 a.m.-ish, um, and it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna move this away because I feel like that's a little too close for comfort <laughs> as far as the climbing thing. We don't want it to look like they can just like you know, hop right out of their enclosure. Um, but yeah, I am enjoying streaming a little bit more. So I think that we might work in some Winfill Zoo streams here in the very near future. Maybe we add this tree there. Mm, again, that's really close. I just, I like adding them close to the buildings, but I have to remember these cats can climb and we wanna make sure that they do not climb straight out of their habitat. This ponderosa pine is my favorite. Um, so yeah, so if you are uh, up for that or think that's a good idea, do let me know. Um, I totally forgot to do my shameless self-promotion. So while I'm looking at trees, I might as well do that. If you guys are enjoying the video, leaving a like down below really does help me out. And I really, really appreciate it, um, especially right now that I'm just creating 
content uh, on a daily basis. Um, so I appreciate any likes, any comments down below. Um, and then of course subscribing. So if you want to keep up with what we're doing and the development of Windfill Zoo, as well as some of the other games that I'm covering right now. So Jurassic World Evolution 2, um, of course, Planet Zoo, and then there um, is Prehistoric Kingdom right on the horizon coming out very, very soon. Um, yeah, you can hit subscribe and make sure you don't miss out on that. So I don't want to overplant this too much. Um, I kind of want to make sure that these cats have like open space. This is my favorite tree, but I wanna keep it more taiga-y than not. So I think we'll leave that out. Although I do wanna do one of these like fallen trees. So maybe we'll do this one here, kind of laying down and we'll do some rocks right there because you guys know I've I mean look at how many rocks are on the exterior of this habitat we are definitely not going to be missing out on the chance to put tons and tons of rocks I'm going to go over here to our little um palette of trees that we have going on and I'm going to copy it and bring it over with me because these are kind of like the trees that we want to use in the majority of the zoo to kind of keep things cohesive and this is my new favorite tree for bushes. <laughs> so we're going to use this all around the edge here of this habitat to give it a little bit of overgrowth. Um, let me know what you guys think about the water situation because I definitely obviously wanted to keep it open in that water would need to flow through between the two habitats and we do need to plaster out the bottom so that it looks more like um, more like uh, like this part right here, like a refillable, emptyable, whatever, you know, so that guests, not guests, zookeepers can clean it and keep it nice and sanitary for the animals. But it does provide an opportunity for the cats to like come nose to nose. And I don't, uh, realistically speaking, I don't know if that would be something uh, zoos would have. So let me know what you think about that. Let's go ahead and move over to the snow leopard side and add some of these bushes around um, so if we need to put like more of a solid or like a, a double fence so that they're kind of separated and that way there is some separation they can't actually go nose to nose um, we can probably integrate that somehow um, but yeah let me know what you think about that let's use this this is the manzanita right manzanita is so pretty it has such like a red red bark color to it it's actually um it grows all over where i'm at like up in the hills and stuff um in san diego county um but it's actually illegal to like harvest and take it from the wild um i'm not really sure why but it's such a pretty pretty plant um I remember in a uh, sixth grade camp was something that I did when I was in sixth grade in elementary school. And we went out to um, uh, this camp out in Cuyamaca, which is up in the, you know, the mountains, hills and whatnot, about an hour or so away from where I'm at now. And one of the crafts that I got to do was to like sand down and polish a piece of manzanita wood. Um, I don't know why that was necessarily like a project because it was it was literally just a piece of wood. It was like a stick that was just shiny and polished and whatnot. Um, I ended up not doing anything with it and I don't know whatever happened to it. But it, my point being is it was a piece of manzanita wood and when it was all shiny and polished, it was actually really pretty. Um, that just popped into my head for some reason and I felt the need to tell you. So there you go. Story time with, uh, with Savannah. Let's add some rocks around the, uh, the water here so that we can make it look like, I kind of want to bring this out like a ledge. I have no idea if the cougars would actually like jump off of it into the water. Do cougars even really like water that much? I don't think so. Like I know tigers and um, jaguars and those are the only two that are coming to mind right now <laughs> really like water and they like swimming and playing in water and whatnot. But I don't actually know about cougars and I'm almost positive snow leopards do not because snow leopards habitats are not usually near bodies of like running water because they're up in the mountains and stuff like that. 
But look at how quickly that comes together. It looks so much better when we surround it with rocks, like super, super quickly. It goes from just looking like a little ditch in the ground to actually looking like something. Let's do this over here. And then I also wanna add some climbing for the cougars because I know they need that. So do I actually have anything unlocked for them? I do. So let's get rid of Snow Leopard and see about adding one or two of these here. Like that's not a bad little climbing thingy. We can kind of add this right here. Um, we can add it right there and then we can just duplicate this. This is kind of my favorite way to create climbing structures, to be honest, is to kind of steal the, um, <laughs> Koa just woke up from his nap and shook, did a little flappy ear thing. He did that in another one of my recent videos too, but um, that's what that noise was, if you could hear it. Um, is to take the climbing structure from Frontier, like the pre-made ones in game, and just kind of uh, adjust them. Okay, guys, go lay down. Kiko and Koa, go on, go lay down. Koa, go lay down. I'm in the middle of recording, don't you understand? <laughs> lie down, thank you, what a good boy. Sorry about that. Um, is to kind of take these and adjust them because I find it a lot easier than just trying to create uh, climbing things from scratch. Uh, and they come out pretty decent, I think. If we, oops, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted to switch it and put it over there like it's another little post that they can climb up and lower this down so it's actually touching. There we go. Because I'm, I'm correct in that these guys need these guys need some sort of climbing or am I making that up? Oh, I guess I'm making that up. Oh, well, they are, they're big cats. So I imagine they would like to climb and stuff like that. So there we go. We have a little bit of a climbing structure. Let's grab some more, some more bushes, <laughs> some more bushes. And I like this one, but I don't necessarily like the blue color too much. I want this to be a little bit warmer of a of a color palette in here. So let's use this, is this bracken I think it is? It's whatever fern and kind of throw this around the edges because uh, this deep green kind of fits. That other one had too much of a cool, cool tone to it. And I want this to be warmer foliage in here um, for no reason other than I like it. <laughs> That's about it. So this is coming together uh, really, really nicely. You can see once we kind of put rocks and, and stuff around, it's really easy, really, really easy to make, um, make habitats and stuff. Let's do this. Let's actually, oh man, I didn't make this all one group. I was hoping that I did. Let's just select a bunch of these and we're gonna make the cougars their own little cave in that back area. I don't know how big it needs to be, but we'll start with this. And we'll take this over here and we'll kind of make it so they have a little cave structure back this way. That is clearly going to be tall enough, yes? There we go. Let me actually hit play and see, does that satisfy? It does, fantastic. That satisfies their hard uh, shelter. I almost said hard structure, hard shelter. <gasps> Are we mating? We are mating. Yes, did it work? Oh, giving each other kisses. Did it work, did it work, did it work? Do we have a baby? Oh, it didn't work. Dang it. Try it again. <laughs> Do it again, right now. Many guessing tickets are underpriced. Wow, okay, let's raise it to 20 and see what they think about that. Making lots of money. I love that they use this bridge. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy that they use that bridge. I was worried because sometimes the traversal by area, you know, can be weird, but they use it and it makes me very, very happy to see that they do. Did I use? I did. So I need this uh, rock right here. And actually I'm gonna get out of the group and just kind of place these around. We'll let it play so that they're walking around and that way 
Um, I mean, the reindeer don't seem to be freaking out right now. As I say that, a notification pops up. Um, but that way we can kind of let the game play and it's not just 100% of a building episode. We will do some management as well. Um, I want to do some, some of these around kind of random so that we look like we have little stones and whatnot throughout the habitat. Just to give it some interest so it's not just a bunch of flat space. Just like this. Oh, you're running. And hopefully that way, if I let it play, are we stressy? We're stressy. Again, I picked all the stressy animals. You guys, hold up, wait. You guys have a shelter. Go inside. You have the ability. You have the power. <laughs> you have the power. Oh, we have no ATMs. That I can fix. And it looks like we beat something in here. Uh, oh, no? Okay. Oh, cool. This is a uh, breed bronze rated taiga animals. Oh, cool. We might actually be able to contribute to that. Um, but ATMs. So facilities, guest facilities, ATMs. Let's put them maybe one right here. Maybe we can put one at the entrance. Where's our little ticket thingies? We'll put one. Is that a bad idea to put it right there? Yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. No, 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 no. Function overlooks, Savannah. This is a franchise zoo. And it doesn't matter if you think it looks good. The guests will whine and you will not be happy. So let's put two there. And then we will put two kind of over in this area. And I'm just going to randomly place them for now because I don't actually know. Holy guest crowding. Goodness gracious. Why do we have so many guests in the zoo? I guess it's not a bad thing. But I'm just going to put them in random sections right now because... Um, I don't actually know what is going to be in those locations as of yet. So there and there, that should be enough. That should be enough. And I just realized we did not put any education boards. I thought I put one over here, didn't I? I did, but I didn't assign it. So let's go ahead and assign this one and then let's duplicate it so that we can put it over here on the rock wall and get our guests, oh, hello, that's not what I wanted. Rotated it in the wrong way. Um, that way we can get our guests educated because I, I gotta remember, remember we're still playing, still playing a franchise zoo. So we wanna make sure that we're still adhering to all the needs of the guests. Let's sink that right there. Is this not powered? Oh, it's not powered. Uh-oh, Piscetio. Uh, construction, no, facilities. And we want power and water. We want power. Let's put a transformer somewhere over here. So if we put one, where should we put one? Actually, if we put one inside this little house, let me see. It'll cover this whole thing and hopefully the radius will not be big enough to give a negative side effect to the guests walking right outside. So let's do this, raise this up a bit. Looks kind of wonky, but if it works, I don't care because it's inside the building and it should be far enough away from these guys. Let's double check that real quick. Uh, yeah, perfect. That works. So now we have power on all of the enclosure and we can continue to add some edumacation to the guests. Let's go ahead and scoot ourselves inside here and add an education board on this wall right here. We rotate this and bring it out just like so. Um, the rock's not really a flat surface, which is a little bit of a struggle, but there we go. That works. Perfect. So we've got those three education boards for the snow leopards. Now let's do the same thing at the viewing areas for the cougars. Also, I just realized these are massive walls. I can probably lower those down and the, oh, I hate when I do that. And the cougars probably won't, um, won't be able to jump out. Although I guess, I guess it's better safe than sorry. The scale's just massively off. Like I don't, feel like they would be quite that tall in a real zoo. Um, 
But then again, I also don't want to lower it and then have it be this huge problem. So let's do that. That's cougar. There we go. And then we'll go over here. Like these ones are a little bit better. Like this height is a little bit better than the other one. So let's rotate you put you on this rock here and then we need donation bins as well we need donation bins so that people will pay us money there we go do I have one of the black donation bins over here so I can just copy and paste it I do let's grab that and bring it down to where all these people are standing donate please donate please Donate, please. Nalu, no growling, please. You guys are being very, <laughs> very vocal in today's recording. Normally, they're good little doggies. I mean, they're always good dogs, and don't get me wrong. They're not being bad dogs right now. They're just being, uh, they're moving around and, and being vocal. But normally, they kind of just hang out in here with me, and they don't make a sound. But today, for whatever reason, they're fidgety and moving around. Okay. That should be good. Um, we do, however, need benches. Why is this here? I don't have, I, oh, because I got something. Collect all unclaimed rewards. Whoa. Oh, wow, 75 credits, thank you. That was it? Okay, cool. <laughs> I've never really participated in those community challenge thingamajiggy, so I wasn't quite sure what it was gonna give us. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> cool, I guess. Excuse me. I wish... Okay, do these snow leopards... Will they let us put... They don't have enough snow. I want their... We can do more grass, which is what I want to do, because I their habitat being all this rock is just too... too much, I think. So there's that. Um rock and we can do some more soil which is good so let's do more soil around here because it doesn't have to be all rock that's right i think i did all rock just to make it easy for myself to get them like happy quickly but there we go that looks a little better because their habitat would not be entirely rock i'm okay with their um shelter being rock and whatnot because that's okay with me. We also need to do this waterfall right here. Oh, that's a little bit too much soil. So let's do some more grass um, and maybe some more rock like here because that's on the edge of the cliff and we are going to be putting rock lining the water. So there's that. Um, darn, I put too much soil and now I don't know where I put it. So I'm having a hard time getting rid of it. <laughs> like that. We'll do a little bit here, a little bit there. Aha. Okay. There we go. Perfect. We don't have enough snow, but I have such a hard time with snow. I don't really want to add it. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't really want to add the snow, but I guess, I guess we can. We'll just say that it's fake snow. It just, I mean, I guess in this environment, it's not that bad, right? That we would have snow on the ground. It just doesn't make sense that we would have snow in only their habitat and not anybody else's. But I guess we could go with the fact that it's fake snow. So if we get some coolers and we put a cooler right here like that and let's drop. Let's actually see what's their temperature range. Um... Where do I find their temperature range? I totally have forgotten because I never deal with that. Um, I think we have to go to Zoopedia. What is your temperature range? Negative four. Okay, so we can go to zero degrees. That's totally fine. Just to make sure that it is uh, range. We want 20, that's zero degrees. Okay, good, it's already set that way. So then let's go ahead and sink this into the ground because I hate the way they look and then duplicate it, and we'll put one over here as well. Hopefully that won't upset, actually we'll put one right here, because I don't want to upset the cougars. All right, hit play, see what that does. Hopefully it'll cool everything down and the snow will start to appear. Yes, it's working. There we go. You have some snow, are you happy now? That's a bush, are you happy now? Oh, you're gonna climb all the way up there. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, where did I put this? 
second one. I guess I can just copy this one. Where did it go? Oh, man. Dang it. Can I have just that? Yes. Okay, thank you. That's the problem with sinking them under the ground, is when you then need to go to pick them up, uh, it's difficult. So let's sink one in the ground right over here. There we go. And that way the snow we put down over here will become actual snow. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Make it snow. There we go. All right, that doesn't look too bad, I guess. Doesn't look too, too bad. Let's uh, continue with our rock placement because you all know how much I love my rocks. Uh-oh, just kidding. What dangerous animal escaped? Oh, it didn't escape. Did I not do the barriers close enough to that? I didn't. You're fine. You're not escaped. You're not escaped. Okay, there we go. Hopefully you don't count as escaped anymore. That would be great. Dangerous animal. Okay, stress, stressed. Great. That we don't care about. So I guess the cougars in Planet Zoo do like water. <laughs> they do like water. Let's do the... Maybe we'll do the bottom of the water real quick before we call it, before we call it an episode. Um, let's grab the plaster and let's do this. And how deep do we want to make this? I'm okay with keeping it fairly deep. There we go. That way they can still kind of swim, right? That's the idea. So we'll put that over there and we'll just duplicate this across the bottom. And then we'll use those awesome decals for drains. Gosh, I remember when the decals weren't a thing and I was making drains out of pieces. Oh God, it's such a piece count saver, but also just such a time saver to just place the stickers. We need to use more of the building decals that came with the Europe pack too, I think. I have not utilized those as much as I should. Perfect, so we'll do this and actually, what we can do is we can make, we, it's gonna have to step up to there, I think. There we go. So we'll do this kind of thing. And then I'll slant this down a little bit. So it's just kind of sloped like so. Let's get down in here and make sure we can make this match up. Raise it up a bit. Oh, how like perfect and easy was that? There we go. And we'll hide that with a rock. Beautiful. And then we'll just have to do the sides of the um, the water. So not that bad. So we'll just put a rock right here and one right there to kind of hide that. And now, at least this side <laughs> has a, uh, a flat wall on or a flat uh, bottom. Looks like we can clean it and drain it and keep it nice and pretty. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Well, I think I think I did pretty good in this one. We have cougars in the park, which is great. We put down education. We put down ATMs. We put down donation boxes. We didn't. Ooh, we did not. Hold on. One last thing is I didn't do. I didn't do enrichment for the cougars. Um, so let's go to species and let's click on cougar because I didn't actually put anything other than climbing in their enclosure and we need to. So let's go ahead and give them a box. And then what about for toy? They're kind of the same thing as the snow leopard. So at least that's good. And we'll give you that, we'll give you that. And maybe we'll give you an ice block over here on the rock. Good thing I remembered that before I let it get, before I let it get too late. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to box you up. <laughs> Let's see, does that help? Uh, yeah, their enrichment went up. Okay, good. And then you're all good here. Okay, so I think, I think that is it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about the whole um, time-lapse episode, management episode, flip-flopping between the two. Um, if you prefer one or the other, that would be awesome. Uh, without uh, waiting for anything drastic to happen or anything to go wrong, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and sign off for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, if you guys did enjoy, um, I'm also on Twitter, TikTok, Discord, and Instagram. If you want to follow me elsewhere, all those links are down in the description below. Hit that subscribe button if you want to continue with the progress of Windfill Zoo. And if you enjoyed, of course, leaving a like and a comment really does help me out. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next episode. 
Bye.